Hey guys, Yell here for Yell TV. We are live on the stage of SciFest LA. Let's talk a little bit about the show that you were in tonight. Okay. It's called The Lunchtime Show by uh, G. Clarence Davidson. So I was in Neil Gaiman's The Case of Four and Twenty Blackbirds. Adapted from a Neil Gaiman short story called The Case of Four and Twenty Blackbirds. Uh, the show is called Human History, and it's by Joel Silberman. Mm -hmm. Did I get his name right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that I've been a fan of Clive Barker since high school, and I was overjoyed when you know, when this came up. It's a play called Turnover. Um, it's a play uh, 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 that came to us from a, a writer named Chris Graybill. I guess best described as a real kind of cat and mouse game. It's a, It takes place in a prison in the future and a, and this prison ship. But what I love about this particular piece is it walks the line of fantasy and dark, but there's also a very touching and there's a sweetness there's to a it. sweetness to it there's an emotional yeah. core for the characters that really stems from love and i like that because and it's about getting back to 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 the love that you feel and whether you're in life or death yeah. figuring yeah. that out yeah. yeah it's about dealing with death and and letting go mm -hmm. of of things, yeah, which is something I think we all, you know, have trouble with. <laughs> it's basically set on a, a, a an alien planet, and it's after this huge invasion that had happened on on Earth, and it it was uh, basically colonized by another alien race. And then it's about the social tensions and racial tensions that happen on this new planet. It's described as. Um you know, a hard-boiled detective meets Mother Goose. So it's film noir, and it's it's Mother Goose tales, and it's all like mashed into this one like explosion of fun. <laughs> There's this event that's um, out in the desert, this special thing you get to go see, run by my sister, and I'm her not very bright, not very <laughs> motivated, not very successful brother who just kind of helps along with the whole thing. What I love about science fiction is you're able to bridge the gap between your current reality and the possibility. And much like you saw in some of the other pieces, you can walk the line between social commentary and being able to explore topics that may be a little taboo and a little not as comfortable societally currently and push the envelope. And I think that's really an exciting thing. I actually think it's a it's the perfect uh, structure for it because I think it gives people, the audience, enough distance to really see the whole picture and connect the dots themselves. I think the first time we did a table read, yeah. we all thought it was a drama. Yeah. Oh, I definitely thought it was a drama. <laughs> I was serious the whole time. He was like, lighten it up, lighten it up, be funny. And I was just like, drama we have the whole this, time. We have this, yeah, we have this wonderful director, Malcolm I. Barrett, and he's a comedy guy, and he was just like, guys, guys, no. <laughs> this has to be, you have to understand, like, the best tool is comedy. So if you use that comedy to highlight the themes of the story, it makes people, it really provokes, a lot. I think, a lot of thought. So I think it's, I think it's an interesting way to, to attack it, and for sure. it's easier to eat, you know, yeah. and digest it. You know, if it's funny, you can laugh about it, then you go home and go, oh, shit. It's kind of a short story show. It, it starts, it runs through quick, and then has a, it finishes with a big... Bang. <laughs> yeah, the ending was definitely my favorite because I was like, oh, 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 I see what's happening. I was part of the very first SciFest last year. Okay. I was in a show called Forwarding Address, uh, direct, uh, directed by Jack Kenny. Um, and I've known David Dean Botrell for years, who's just a wonderful person, and he had this fabulous idea for science fiction on stage, which has never been done before. And um, I mean, God, we've just gotten bigger and better our second year. I was looking to do some theater and uh, this sort of fell into my lap, and I read the script, and I went, I, to be honest, I didn't know about the first uh, first year of SciFest, so this was all very foreign to me, but I read the script, and I thought it was so fun, and this part was so fun, then I said, sure, I'll do it, why not? And then I get here, and the production value is so high, and the talent is phenomenal, and everything is top-notch, professional. I'm so amazed that this is the second annual one, and it's running this expertly. I mean, yeah. you, you would think this is the 30th year of this because oh, it's, it's uh, top notch. Yeah. And I want to say the most fantastic thing of working with this, especially a theater in LA, is that everybody is so professional and of a very, very high level. Yeah. And it's absolutely uh, fantastic to be able to work with these people.